Commissioner in Istanbul, Turkey. Turkey has signed and ratified this important new convention and hopefully Ireland will, will follow this example. But having heard with the very powerful speeches of the gentleman and the lady who just spoke before me, uh, as well as the very sympathetic Irish chancellor of, I would say, little girls rather than young girls, I I am very much pleased that we were able to, to support this event. Uh, of course, I have been telling uh, that IFRA is an asset to Ireland. He might not, she might not have been born in Ireland, but uh, she has become indeed a very recognizable force for the good who is really helping to raise the already very high standards of, of this country uh, in terms of human rights. And uh, these two powerful speeches just brought me an image uh, into my eyes when listening uh, to the horror of female genital mutilation. It's that how way glorious the world we are living because on one side we have this botox going on on the human body and then on the other side we have this horror of uh, genital mutilation. Uh, it was therefore uh, very much natural, I would say, for us to support this event. But also, uh, Turkey has been, uh, I would say, in the forefront of uh, improving women's rights. And it was in, for instance, in 2003, when our then Prime Minister, now President, Mr. Spoke at Tatran, on the uh, summit of Islamic conference, he was very clear that unless human rights, and human rights, but especially women's rights, in all this context are improved, uh, peace will never be in the Islamic area. And, and this is unfortunate what we are seeing because women's rights have not been improved as much as they are required. And we were at the forefront of the first Europe site, uh, a Europe-wide convention on the protection of violence to women, all sorts of violence. But I would rather not go into the details of that convention. Uh, we were the first to sign it, it's the Con 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 Council of Europe Convention. And Ireland, of course, uh, will be signing it. There are already 18 uh, European countries who have signed that. Uh, ratified that, so it empowers the women who are under all kinds of duress, domestic or otherwise, to see their rights in a much more powerful way. Uh, let me end here. I am proud that we were able, uh, in our own way, to support this organization, and uh, I have also induced Turkish Airlines, which happens to be the uh, the, the only big Turkish company operating from Dublin to, to have two return tickets to add some sparks to this already beautiful night, return flights uh, to Istanbul and back to Dublin. So I hope uh, the lady should win and, and go to Turkey and uh, whether she wins or not, she should go to Turkey and talk about uh, this genital mutilation. So thank you.